Hi there, in this video we're going to have a look at something called expanding. But before we do, let's have a look at this example here to do with rectangles. So I've got a rectangle here, uh, the lengths are 4 by 2, so if I were to work out the area of that rectangle, that would be 4 times 2, which is 8. So 8 units squared would be the area of that rectangle. Say we didn't know what um, we knew one side but we didn't really know much about the other side. So I've got another rectangle here. The area formula is still the same. So it's still the, um, the length times the width of the rectangle. So say the length is x plus 1. So x plus 1. Um, I'm going to put that in brackets. Times the width is 2. Now if I just rearrange this formula so that I've got um, this term at the front, so 2, so 2 times and my multiplication symbol disappears and I just write it like this. So the area is equal to 2 times x plus 1 in brackets. Still exactly the same kind of um, formula, the same concept to do with the area of rectangles. But in this case, um, we don't know what, we actually don't know what the length of this side is. But we do know that the length is x plus 1. Um, the area is still 8, so if we were to say that the area is equal to 8, then we come up with, a, with an equation, 2 x plus 1 equals 8. So then what I could do is... Um, that 2 is multiplying everything inside the brackets there. So if I go 2 times x, so 2 times x plus 2 times 1, that is equal to the area of 8. Now simplifying a wee bit, 2x plus 2 is equal to 8. So now this is in um, a form that you've met before. Th this is now just a simple algebraic equation that we can solve. So subtracting 2 from both sides, I end up with 2x equals 6. And then dividing both sides by 2, I end up with x equal to 3. So that original x there, <coughs> excuse me, is actually equal to 3. So what I've done here in this process here, that is actually called expanding. So this is just one practical example where you would use expanding. So let's have a look at the um, algebraic concept of expanding. It just means to multiply out the brackets. So this first example, I've got 3 times x plus 4 in brackets. So that 3 is multiplying everything inside the brackets. Okay, so start off with 3 times x plus 3 times 4, that will give me, <clears throat> if I simplify, 3x plus 12. Okay, so this is my final expression. That is the expanded expression. Okay, the second example here um, is I've got negative 4 now. So that negative 4 is multiplying the x plus the negative 4 times the 7. Now just simplifying, so negative 4 times x give me negative 4x plus negative 4 times 7 is negative 28. Now I can rewrite that like this, um, negative 4x minus 28. So these two here are equivalent, they're the same thing. Okay, a few more examples. x at the front here times x plus 5. So expanding out, I get x times x plus x times 5, and then simplifying. Now I don't write x5 here, I write this as 5x. Okay, next example. 2 times 3x. Okay, 2 times 3x minus 2 times 8. 
Okay, simplifying now, I get 2 times 3x is 6x, minus 2 times 8 is 16. So we start to get into some of the negatives and minuses, so we need to watch our negatives. Okay, next example here, I've got negative x times 7x. So if I rewrite that, negative x times 7x, that minus negative x times 3. Okay, so if I do this first part here, negative x times 7x will give me negative 7x squared. Then I've got minus negative x times 3 gives me negative 3x. Okay, I'm just going to deal with these negatives and minuses here. I've got negative 7x squared, which I just leave that as is. And what, what I've got here is minus negative 3x. So if you subtract a negative, um, a negative part or negative number or negative term, that actually becomes the same as adding it. So minus negative 3x becomes plus 3x. Okay, next example here. That 4x is multiplying the 2x. So 4x times 2x plus 4x times 3y. Simplifying, so 4x times 2x, 4 times 2 is 8, x times x is x squared. So I've done that part, plus 4x times 3y gives me 12xy. Okay, so that's as far as I can go, that's um, this expression expanded. Okay, a few more harder examples, so we're kind of getting into the excellence level now. Um, so this example here, that 4x, just going to rewrite it, now I'm going to expand this part here. So 3 times 9x, so you can just do that in your head um, at this point, rather than write it out in full. So 3 times 9x will give me 27x, minus 3 times 7 will give me 21. And you can see here, although I've expanded, I can simplify a wee bit further, because I can see that that 4x can be combined with that 27x. So 4x plus 27x will give me 31x, and then minus 21 on the end there. So that's as far as you can go. So after expanding an, ex an expression, you may need to simplify as well. Okay, this example here is like we've combined two single bracketed um, parts together. Um, so in a sense, you could just sort of like do each one separately, so expand each one separately. So if I do this one here first, 2 times 3x gives me 6x. Minus 2 times 4 is 8, so I've done that one, plus x times x is x squared, plus x times 3 is 3x. Okay, so now I can simplify a wee bit further. That 6x can combine with that plus 3x there to give me 9x. Minus 8 is just a number, so that is a term. There's no other numbers in that expression, so we just pop in minus 8 there. And then I've got an x squared term. So I need to rewrite that there. So this is now the simplified expanded version of that expression there. Okay, last example. A few minuses in here, negatives. So um, we just need to take care here. So negative 4 times 5x will give me negative 20x um, and then minus negative 4 times 3 gives me negative 12. Okay, then moving on I've got minus, I'm just going to put all of this in brackets, 2 times x is 2x plus 2 times 8 is 16 
Okay, so the reason why I did that is now um, this minus sign, I'm going to bring it into these brackets here. So what this minus sign here is, it means that you're actually subtracting this whole thing here. So I've done the expansion, now I'm going to subtract that expanded part. So I'm rewriting negative 20x minus negative 12 becomes plus 12 minus 2x minus 16. So that minus means minus that positive 16 there. So minus 16. So effectively I've brought that negative or that minus into these brackets here. Now I can um, simplify this expression here. I've got negative 20x here and minus 2x there. Those two I combine. I can combine. So negative 20 minus 2 gives me negative 22x. Then I've got plus 12 minus 16. So those two I can combine together. So plus 12 minus 16 will give me minus 4. So that is my final simplified expanded expression. So of course those last three examples would be at least at um, excellence level.